Now to a story we brought you on Wednesday. A pregnant woman trying to escape a man attacking her jumped into the Quinnipiac River. A neighbor heard her screams, called 911, but it was a kayaker who came to her rescue. News 8's Allie Reed on the scene with a man who saved her life. Ian Chrisman was on his porch Wednesday night when he saw the flashing lights just across the river. He grabbed his kayak, rushed down to get in the water because he knew someone was in need of help. It was a dramatic rescue on Wednesday night when a pregnant woman leapt into the Quinnipiac River to escape a man who had allegedly attacked and assaulted her. Police and firefighters were shouting out to her from land. She had drifted about 50 feet from the seawall. She was fighting to stay afloat and you could tell she was really cold and exhausted. He says she had been in the cold water for about 25 minutes by the time he reached her on his kayak. She was a, not frantic, but obviously she was just exhausted. And uh, so I, I just told her to grab the front of the kayak and hold on. And then uh, I paddled her right over to the edge where the, where the emergency services could, re could reach her. Emergency responders were able to pull her out over the seawall and get her to a hospital. Ian says he's happy he was able to get to her when he did because he says she was losing her strength. The reason why I went in was it didn't seem like there was rescue uh, uh, capabilities to reach her, or if there were, it would be long in coming. Ian says he would like to have a chance to talk to the woman he helped save and see how she's doing, but he says he doesn't need a thank you. Instead, he would like to see emergency responders get some new equipment or something to allow them to get in the water faster to help out anyone in need in this river, rather than relying on neighbors like himself. Reporting on the scene in New Haven, Allie Reed, News 8.